What's going on guys, it's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can use Gazebo to simulate a drone swarm and w along with RDPilot software in the loop simulation to control a drone swarm. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Like in the previous videos, I have also made a follow along on my GitHub so you guys can read along uh, as I do the video. So. The first thing you guys are going to need to do is um, pull the latest IQ sim in our cat game workspace so that we can get um, the models that I've added to our simulation environment. And then the next thing is you're going to make sure to run this command such that um, the path to the models folder is added to the bash RC. That way Gazebo knows where to find the models we're going to be referencing. So now we need to talk about how the software in the loop simulation actually works. So we are using RDPilot and Gazebo. RDPilot is the control laws, the drivers, and the communication layer that actually goes on the physical drone. Gazebo is really more of the simulator. So it emulates the actuators, meaning the motors, and the physics of the environment and also the sensors. So if we kind of want to think of this of, of a full like closed system, the sensors will measure the state of the drone then that'll go into the control laws, which is in within RDPilot. And then the control laws will command the actuators, which will then produce a force um, that will then be modeled by Gazebo and then so on and so forth back to the loop. So the, the place where this communication layer is separated is between the simulated sensors and the control laws. And then again, with the control law commands to the actuators. And so normally these these, uh, these separations would be between usually a serial link to your sensor or a PWM output to your um, ESC. So instead of doing um, those communication layers um, electrically, we are gonna do that via uh, UDP and TCP messages. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our simulation. And in order to do this, we're gonna to have to make a couple different uh, custom simulated drones. And each of these, we're going to have to change a parameter which defines the UDP port in which the UDP messages from the simulation to the control laws and back from the control laws to the simulation um, do not conflict between multiple of the drones. So first thing we need to do is open up the file explorer and then we're gonna go over to our CatKin workspace then down to source and then into IQ sim and then into models. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, copy drone one and then make a, call this drone two. And we'll go ahead and copy that again and name this drone three as well. Now let's open up Sublime and uh, start changing the code. So again, let's go to IQ Sim and then down to models and then down to drone two. So now let's take a look at the model config and we will change the name of the, of the model to drone two. And then we'll also do that for drone three as well. Now let's take a look at drone two's model SDF. So this again, if you haven't watched some of the previous episode is where the model is defined. So let's take a, let's scroll all the way down to where the um, RDPilot plugin is defined. So we got plugin, RDCopter, plugin, lib RDPilot. So this is the uh, plugin that allows you to com communicate with the RDPilot flight stack. So what we're gonna be changing here are these FDN, our FDM port ins. So now what we're going to want to do is start incrementing the FDM port in and FB, FDM port out. So the way that RDPilot um, has this defined is that for every drone past the first drone, you will increment the UDP ports by 10. So for drone two, we're going to change this to 9,012 and 9,013. So now when we go over to drone three, down to the model SDF, find the same place. We're going to increment this by uh, 10 from the last. So this will now be 22 and this will now be 23. And then we'll go ahead and save that. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and insert the models that we just defined into a gazebo world. So let's go ahead, close models and take a look at the worlds folder and then open up runway.world. And then we're gonna scroll down, scroll down to where the model iris is defined. And then we're going to delete all of the model iris down to the slash model tag. So delete that. And then we're going to go ahead and insert the following. So now we're gonna go ahead and copy copy this and insert it two more times, but change drone one to drone two and drone three. And also increment the position. Now let's go ahead and launch the world. So open up another terminal and do a ROS launch IQ sim and then runway dot launch so now when we zoom out we can take a look and we have three um, drones right here so now let's go ahead and open up a couple terminals so in each of these terminals we're going to launch our unique rd pilot software in the loop, software in the loop uh, simulation so we're going to grab this command which is on the follow along in the link below um, and now I'm going to go over this command a little bit. So the simvehicle.py is the RD pilot software in the loop uh, simulation. And then we're going to specify that this is an RD copter simulation and that we want to launch it with the gazebo iris parameters. So this is kind of just default parameters for um, a gazebo drone. And then with the console and then this, this parameter right here is very important for swarms. So the dash I zero, um, param is basically saying this is the first instance of RD pilot and we're going to connect to the first instance or first gazebo drone instance and then finally this this last parameter the out equals tcp in and then this ip address with 8100 is basically specifying a unique port for the telemetry of the drone to be broadcasted to um, which then we can connect q ground control or a different um, ground control station too. So let's go ahead and run this. And it looks like it's booting up just like it's done in the past. So now let's go ahead to the next terminal and paste in, um, paste in that command again. So now instead of launching with I zero, let's change this to I one. And then let's also stagger the uh, TCP port by a 100. So now it'll be 8,200 and run that. And that boots up as well. And then again, for the third, we'll increment all those by one. So 8,300 and we'll put this as an I dash two. And it looks like it's all booting up. So now that everything is booting up, we can go ahead and take a look at our console just as we would before. So now we're gonna wait for the EKF to start using the GPS. Now that the EKF is now using the GPS, we can go ahead and open up the first terminal and type mode guided and then arm throttle and then take off and then we can watch our drone rise and the same with the next terminal and this drone will also take off and so forth so now we know how to simulate a multiple drone scenario and control multiple drones using map proxy in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can connect all these different vehicles and manage them via Q ground control, and also how we can do multiple intelligent missions using Mavros. So until the next video, keep it classy. I'll see you in the next one.